Not to average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome back to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new Viticulture World expansion uh, that all came in the wine crate. Along with, I also uh, purchased Visit from the Rhine Valley. So it's some additional visitor cards uh, for the Viticulture game that you can swap out. And uh, this came in an even bigger box originally, so I believe the this is a starting scenario, so one that's supposed to be a little bit easier, and then these are some uh, replacement cards for the game as well. So those are also in my copy. Um, and in the visit from the Rhine Valley, I believe it's just the visitor cards, so I'm going to have my assistant help by opening those up. I think usually, if I remember right, the Viticulture cards are usually pretty op easy to get open, but... I always struggle when I'm on camera. But yeah, this is a little bit different than anything I think I've gotten from Stonemaier before. Uh, I usually have not gotten a box within a box. Because, um, yeah, this came in a larger box originally. Um, but yeah, this is packaged in there pretty nicely. Uh, I have it upside down. I don't know if I should have noticed that. Um, but yeah, this looks really nice on the top here. Let's cover that up. Let's cover the that up and get back open. to those cards. Let's get back to those first. Um, See so yeah, how these look uh, just like other uh, visitor cards that you've got that you had in the original uh, Viticulture. Um, yeah, it's nice. I think supposedly these are supposed to. Um, the reason I got this was these are supposed to more deal with mainly just the um, wine-related items um, and. Uh, filling wine orders, I think. They're a little more uh, based on that type of thing versus uh, some of the cards in the original are, you could almost, I think some people argue, you could almost not do any wine and win the game if you got some of the right cards or used them properly. Um, so I was interested to see kind of how this, if this felt like it made any difference in the game or not. Um, so yeah, so I think at one point, this was one of Pepper's gripes with Viticulture, is some of the cards, uh, depending on when you get them, can be more or less helpful, um, which I, I can definitely, definitely understand. So hopefully, I think these just totally replace all the ones that you use, whereas I think there's another kind of mini visitor expansion that was designed by Uwe Rosenberg, and I think those were more, uh, you shuffle them in, with the original. So I think these just straight up replace them if I understood that correctly. So yeah, that's visitors or visit from the Rhine Valley. So I look forward to trying those out. Nothing too brand new in that. Uh, but now we get to the Viticulture wine crate, which I don't know how easy it'll be to get out of here. Uh, but it's packed in there very nicely. It's a lot different than, I mean, I don't think I've seen another Stonemaier game packaged this way, but it's probably because some of the other ones I've gotten have come in a big box. Um, I have gotten the legend or the what's it called, legendary box for Scythe, so I have had that, um, and that is really nice. And this is actually in shrink as well. Let's see if I can get that open. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if this was also going to be shrink wrapped or not. But, yeah. So this looks, this definitely looks a lot different than the um, base game of Viticulture, whereas like the size one, it, it resembles a lot of the same art that was on the um, original cover. So it is cool how this one's changed slightly, and it really uh, does have a kind of wine crate looking uh, look to it. And, I do like this on the side here, the Stonemaier Games, uh, with almost a vineyard-looking thing. And you've got this if you wanted to do it sideways. And that side's got that as well. So yeah, I do like that it has two options, depending on how... I'm not exactly sure how well this will fit in a calyx shelf, but um, depending on how you wanted to put it in there. What number did you get? You got number, number one? 4,623 out of 8,400. So. Nice. Uh, that is a number I will definitely remember. 
Out of all the ones I've gotten that have num been numbered so far from Snowmare Games, I still haven't gotten an insanely cool number, so I'm still waiting for that day. Uh, then right off the bat, we've got the rule book. Um, it doesn't look like it's, it doesn't feel like it's too many pages. It's that nice texture that uh, Stoneware Games uses on all their rule books. Really like that. Looks like it's only seven pages. So hopefully it'll be a quick learn, but I know, um, believe it's kind of one of those games that you play a different type of scenario each time. So I'm guessing uh, based on that, there will be additional rules that you have to follow um, based on whichever one you end up picking. But, oh boy, might be of what's to come there. Some hats on some workers. But yeah, I usually really like Stonemaier games' as rule books. They're usually very clear. Um, although I will say the tapestry one is very short, and there's maybe a couple things that they could have made it, you know, extended just a little bit, but it's still all of them have been pretty clear to me. And we've got some tiles here. And it looks like they use a very similar art style to uh, the original. So draw some cards, choose two to keep, then gain um, some wine tokens. You know, I really like the artwork in Viticulture. It's one of the things that draws me back to the game over and over. Um, just the artwork they use. And I believe the artwork was actually done by Andrew Bosley this time. Uh, when origin the original one, I think, was Best Sobel's artwork. So... They change that slightly, but it does feel very similar. I do think I feel the, if you're looking at it, you can kind of see the Andrew Billsley because his definitely has more of a rounded feel, I think, to it. Um, just a slightly different art style, but it still looks pretty close, I think. Then we've got this board, which is also wrapped up. Just surprising. That's another thing I'm not... And it might just be because uh, I got the Middle Culture World in the wine crate, so I don't think this is typically going to come in there. So I'm guessing that's why it's in plastic. Pepper, can you get that off for me, please? But yeah, I I think from this point forward, the print runs will only have the big box and the Viticulture World expansion sold separately, I believe is what Jamie had kind of said. So this board is looking like it's laid out in a similar fashion to um, the Tuscany and the original. Um, it does look like this one is more of the original because it's just got the summer and winter, whereas the Tuscany had all four months. I'm not sure if that's... I'm not sure if I know what the differences are off the top of my head. Um, it might just be based on player count. Oh, I think it's actually, if you do have the Tuscany, if you're using the buildings, I'm guessing that's, yep. That's, that'll determine what side you're using on this. But yeah, I really, really like the artwork in this. Um, it still looks very close to the original. It gives a very similar vibe. Um, yeah, it's... Got the worker placement spots, just like the other one. The I don't know. The artwork in this one is pretty great. What do you think of it, Pepper? Does it match up pretty close? It doesn't look as different as I thought it was going to. I thought the two styles, while I think they, her style is pretty similar to his, mm. like comparing everything out there, um, I still thought it would be pretty noticeable, but I, if you gave me this, I'd probably wouldn't know the difference right. if you didn't tell me i would agree I, I yeah i don't think i would either i would think maybe there was a slight difference but i wouldn't probably i wouldn't go out of my way and be saying oh this is definitely a different artist um, i make it look very similar i did a pretty good job with that so that's the game board then it looks like we've got not sure if this will be needed in there. Um, not exactly sure how it'll be laid out. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, just a piece of cardboard. And then um, you've got a nice looking insert. I think that should stay on there. It doesn't actually like clip into place or anything. So it just kind of slides on and off. But it's um, long enough that I think it should stay on there pretty well. Um, 
<clears throat> but yeah, I would say one of the things the original or the essential edition, I think, is what we have. Um, one of the things that it was missing was a good insert. It has an insert, but I feel like there wasn't a great way to sort everything. Um, it kind of just felt like you had to force it in there. There wasn't that much room in the box because it's not quite a ticket to ride size box either. Um, then we've got some other ones here as well. It looks uh, like we've got another container. Not sure what I think of all these just random sections of insert. I'd rather a big sheet, like just three layers. That is true. Versus um, kind of a it is puzzle kind of, here. It is kind of a that, that is true. That is a good point. It is a kind of a hodgepodge of them. I'm not sure if there's a reason for that. Um, but yeah, I, I would agree that um, it does kind of uh, seem like it's a little random, but maybe it'll make sense once we put it all together. And hopefully the cards will come out of here. I know this, it had a rounded thing like this in the base, and I didn't really like that, but here you can at least uh, dig your finger in there um, underneath the cards a little bit better. And then the last thing, but not least, at least in this edition, if you're just getting a wine crate, I don't think it'll have this. And I'm not sure if this container, or if this I'm assuming this has to come in the viticulture world, uh, the insert anyway. I would pretty, I would yeah. guess, because otherwise I think this could be a pretty big mess. Otherwise, um, yeah, that's the last thing in the wine crate. It looks like we've got some baggies. Let's see if I can set that on there. Um, ooh, I think I know what those baggies are. Oh, and these ones actually just have a piece of paper on them, which is nice. A protective card, please recycle. Oh, nice thing. I'm surprised that it has that artwork on the back. Uh, it's a nice touch that wasn't necessarily needed. Uh, looks like these are some of the buildings. Or I think that's what they're, they're called, construction buildings. Whatever they were called in the first one. Oh yeah, I think the ones with these black borders. Uh, what was it? There was some reason for these, I think, and I... I really liked the reasoning. I think it's to replace certain ones so that you know if you're not playing with a certain type, you can just kind of, if you pick one of these cards with a blackboard, you can just get rid of it instead of having to sort through the cards every time. I think it was something like that. I thought it was a pretty clever way to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, then we've got, so I think this is one of the one of the different continents uh, that you will be possibly choosing. So we got another protective card here. And this one looks like it's Green Gully, which I believe is based on the Charter Stone, because uh, they didn't have Antarctica uh, to choose from for a continent. Um, these, look, these cards look all pretty well laid out. Um, and I'm guessing that'll give you some text as to what you're going to be doing in that specific, uh, if you're taking on that specific one. It looks like we've got Africa here as well. Um, yeah, I really like the artwork on these. Um, the artwork on the back as well to be able to separate them. Makes it very clear as to which ones are which. I guess it'll be a very similar thing for all of these. Got the protective card again. And just some setup explanation, some other cards as well. Um, ooh, that's some nice, interesting artwork. I feel like the first image I saw of this viticulture world was drawn something like this uh, to kind of give a little bit of a feel, but not give away. I think it was the cover of the game. I do like this look actually quite a bit of like the beginnings of a drawing with no color on it yet. Uh, it looks very cool. We got another one. Ooh, this one looks like a bit of a puzzle. That'll be interesting to see how that works. It's a North America one. I got some setup. And it looks like these are all very similarly done, uh, just with uh, slightly different things that you're trying to do each time. I'm not sure if this, this might be a solo version, I would guess, since it has a, a bot, robot on there, on the back. 
that or it might be for one of the might be a spoiler to something else but um, got the protective card I like I really like the backs of these and these ones actually have some numbers I guess I didn't look at the other ones did and it's just got the rules to this specific one and cards like that I like that they're all um, laid out very similarly this one has a puzzle looking thing as well I'm gonna be interested to see how these all actually play out we've got some new red and blue cards um, I think these are all pretty much very similar to uh, the original game I think you just kind of add these ones in there so yeah these look very similar I'm not sure why the culture world only hmm. I wonder if you start with more in viticulture world this is showing four workers that you start with the red cards hmm. interesting I thought it was two and we've got more if I can get this piece of paper off South America yeah, I do like how these are laid out. These, okay, I guess this has a little bit of artwork here, but I wouldn't say that there's a ton of artwork on these cards. Um, I'm not saying that it needs it. I don't think they do because a lot of these looks just like some some text, um, which I'm guessing is just. I think there's some sort of event things, um, and you got just some different looking cards for each one. So it'll be interesting to see how those all end up playing out differently. We've got these baggies which in the last Stonemeyer game I think I unboxed I tried to rip the baggie apart even though it's got a zip seal on it. Ooh, it looks like we've got a bell here. We'll be ringing the bell uh, as we run out of time in the game and then it looks like a maple leaf possibly or some sort of leaf at least. Um, they're both very cool looking things. I think there is a game called Bosk that maybe does leave, leaves, leaves, but uh, I don't know that I see too many of those in games, so that'd be a cool component to use um, in a game, I think. I think you're going to need these. Oh boy. Show off that. And we've got, oh my goodness, some blue hats. I think these might be ridiculously large hats. We're going to try them out. Oh boy. Let's see how they go on there. I'm not exactly sure here. Might need Pepper's help. I've got 500 hats in my hand. I guess I didn't look if there's a specific way you're supposed to put these on. Ah! Some yellow hats. And some yellow hats as well. Guess I don't know if they will fit on this grande. Well, there they go, just perfect. <laughs> Did that go on there really easily? Try getting in on that one. So he got it to have on almost immediately. Um, I guess I don't <laughs> know. Are they very... only for the grandes? Maybe I uh, think they would be for all of them, but maybe they might oh, be able to go. I, maybe I just wasn't pushing hard enough. So yeah, they absolutely gigantic hats. They are pretty gigantic hats. It kind of fits the grande a little bit better, but. Uh, yeah, the small one, it is almost as large. <laughs> you can definitely tell they have the hat on, though. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, but yes, they are a slightly oversized. So if you are take a quick glance through the window from across the street, you will be able to tell they are wearing the hat. Exactly. But yeah, I believe that is, looks like that's everything inside the Viticulture Wine Crate with Viticulture World. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to try this one out. Um, I I don't know if it was an interesting, when I first heard it was going to be cooperative, it was interesting, but I, what, I'm not sure if I was 100% sold on it. So I'm hoping I'm hoping I'll really enjoy it and have a great time. Um, but I'm, I'm still not 100% sure until I give it a play. So hopefully we can get this one to the table as soon as possible. But yeah, otherwise, we hope to see you on the next video. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on those grapes.